This is like a bed frame only a mother could love. It's a little special. Hi, I'm Montana Dana, and on today's episode of Girl vs. Van, we measure out the bed frame and build a platform bed to not only hold up the futon, but to provide plenty of storage underneath. So I have seven days to build a van. The only way I got it done was to set goals every day and not go to bed until I completed them. I just got done with work, and it's time to get back to work. There's three things I have to do before I go to bed tonight. I have to insulate the back windows. I have to spray paint the panels, put them all back on. They should be nice and bright and white. And it's project platform bed. I'm not going to bed tonight until there is a platform bed in the back of this. All right, let's go get some work done. So I bought some plywood for my platform bed and to make life just a little easier, I measured it and had them cut it at work. I got everything spray painted. Now it's platform bedtime. This looks tiny. I hope I measured it correctly, but I measured my futon in seated position. So this will be flush against the wall and then I'll have some leg room in between this and the piano. Very excited about it. So I just need to figure out how tall I want it. I want a fair amount of storage underneath it, but I don't want it to look super weird, like my feet dangling. We don't want any, we don't want any dangling. So I need to see how tall I want my two by threes. I have a joke for you, I came up with a joke. Do you wanna hear my joke? Yeah. I came up with it. Okay. What did the sheet metal say to the two by three? Ooh. You're such a stud. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I know, buddy. <laughs> stupid. I like it. Thanks. That's a good friend right there. I like he it. He laughs at my stupid jokes. Yes, I do. Um, I might need the nail gun. Yeah. Is that a is that a thing that I can? Absolutely. I just put it. He right just there. he just put it away. So. I'm such a jerk. I'm ready to just travel. Is it time to travel yet? Almost there. <laughs> I've never made a platform bed. I really don't know what I'm doing at this point. I just know I'm cutting two by threes at the same length. I'm gonna use maybe nine of them for the platform bed, fasten everything together, and call it a day. This is a very accurate representation of how I cook. I'm a very I, messy, I messy cook. I hope I measured right. I measured twice. Is that your bed? Yeah. But it's in here. It. But it's in futon position. Oh, okay. So it's when it's so upright. When lay, so yeah. when I lay it down, it's, down. it's like out there. Like yeah, okay. almost. Oh, okay. So the width is pretty small on my futon. But that's just because that's the width of the van, right? Yeah. How, what's the best way to do this? Like, are you trying to do the side? Yeah, we do it from the side first. And the hose is right over Is there. it loaded? No. Yeah. It's, it's loaded, loaded, but the oh, air compressor isn't on it. So. I don't know how to put that on. Oh, here. Okay. 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 To find out, I'll show you how to do it. You're gonna do it on the camera. Guys, I'm gonna see Corinne do something oh, really sweet. cool. <laughs> Corinne's gonna load the gun for me. It's great. Let's see it, girl. Oh my ah. gosh. There you oh go. Oh my gosh. I'm not gonna aim it. I'm not making it on the trigger. <laughs> Do you realize how hot your wife was just me? <laughs> no, I was scared to death. She aimed it at me. My finger wasn't even near the tray. I didn't Relax. see. She took out a big insurance policy on me this I year. I did. We upped it. Oh, you did? <laughs> just kidding. I'm like, no, do you want it? Oh, I need to glue it. I'll glue it first. That's fine. I think I have to make that sound effect every time. Every time. Or it doesn't work properly. Am I doing this right? Mm -hmm. I'm just fucking him. Yep. I like using the nail gun. I love that. <laughs> Got a little trigger happy there. I, I think you're right. Is that enough? Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that's really funny. <laughs> no, we can do the other side over here. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were supposed to put a lot in. I don't know. You do I whatever just, you feel comfortable with. You do, you, you, boo. I just want you two videos and then. Don't forget your liquid nail. Oh, yeah. We're good. It's fine. Everything is fine. Almost died, but it's fine. You didn't know what you were getting into with this. <laughs> you're like, sure, I'll help you. Don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How many should I put in? In your expert opinion. Usually four, five. Just a long nail. Like that? Yep. This has been fun. We're having fun. Right, 
right up the nostrils. Why is it yelling at me? Now we see if the frame is gonna fit in the van. The moment of truth. It's crazy that both my piano and my bed fit in this van. It's like a perfect fit, a snug, perfect fit. If my bed was any bigger or the piano was any bigger, none of this would have fit in the van. I guess it was meant to be. I just want to make sure it's going to be the right height. Yeah, because my thing will be here. No dangle in here. We're good to go. I like it. So I need to put some studs like in the middle. One needs to go right here and one goes here, one goes there, one goes there. So I have two plastic bins that I needed to be able to fit under the platform bed. That's where I keep a bunch of my clothes, some storage items, and I'm very happy to say that it all fit. And you need a brace to go from here to there. I do. Here to there. I Otherwise, it's, these are just gonna go. I should have gotten a thicker piece, very thin. This would stack. I basically bought a piece of cardboard for $69.99. If I did this again in the future, I would definitely get a thicker piece of plywood for the bed frame. Place it with these beams yeah. underneath here, going each way, it'll be way stronger. Okay, so do I brace it first and then put the middle one in? Do the braces on okay. it all first to give us support and strength. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Eric's saying I need more support. Not emotionally. <laughs> I need help. Or physically. <laughs> All right. Should I glue it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. This is like a bed frame only a mother could love. It's a little special. I mean, it's going to work though. That's what matters. This is my kindergarten school drawing. I hope this is enough room to fit stuff under here. I don't actually think it is. I was a little worried that we were gonna crash and burn at some point, but bed frame has held up so far. That looks nice. Not a true test. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Solid. She's a beaut. There we go. Awesome. I was thinking while we're here, I have a little bit of spray paint left white spray paint. So I'm going to spray paint these white just because I think they'll show and it'll match a little better. Might as well not waste materials. So I'm not going to use the spray paint. While that's drying, I'm going to put some insulation in the doors and then put some reflectix over the top and then put my panels back on. And then my kitchen is going to be behind my seat. So I'm going to measure it out, see if I need to go buy more plywood tomorrow. I don't know. We're just playing by ear, but I have to get the panels back on. I have to get the bed frame back in. One door is done. It's almost 10 o'clock at night, but I'm going to keep going. I'm motivated by equal parts, excited to get on the road and going to be homeless in six days. So there's that. Still a spray paint on these guys. They're drying. I don't know if that's going to look good or not, but hey, might as well use that up. Whew, getting tired though. Definitely getting tired. Doors have reflectix. Now I just have to put on the covers and put in the bed. <laughs> bed frame fit. We're all good to go. In tomorrow's video, I'm going to build the kitchen and a bathroom area. And then the following day, we're putting everything into the van. If you want to see those videos, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss them. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, share it with your friends. We'll see you tomorrow.